Hi, and welcome to another Animation Secrets. My name is Lucas Ridley, and this week's Animation Secret is all about when is the right time to apply, and is your shot good enough to apply to that job? Animation Secrets. I've been mentoring a few students recently, and this question has come up because the shot I'm giving them feedback on, they're wondering if they can use that to apply to a job. And for you watching this, it my answer would be, it depends. It depends on your shot. It depends on the job you're applying to. But for my student, um, I said, you know what? It, it doesn't cost anything to apply to a job. You could definitely use this animation, but the, the shot we're working on is a bit more beginner. And when you think about who you're competing against, you need to stand out. And if it's just kind of a generic vanilla assignment, you're not gonna stand out. So the likelihood of you getting the job is low. The cost of applying that job is also low. So it doesn't hurt to go ahead and apply. You know, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes at the studio you're applying to. Maybe they have a ton of jobs uh, open for a junior, but they only have one posting that says junior animator. Maybe they're trying to fill 10 of those, but they just post it at once. So, you know, you don't know what type of competition that they're getting the timing of that. So it doesn't cost anything to apply. You just need to be realistic about your likelihood of getting the job if you are using more beginner shots like a vanilla walk or something that's kind of generic looking that you're just using as an animation exercise. And that brings me to my second point. You know, you're not going to want to show everyone everything you ever worked on. <laughs> When you're beginning to learn animation, those exercises are meant to be for your eyes only and your instructor's eyes only, if you want it to be that way. They're not really intended to be a get hired shot. Now, you could take a generic kind of assignment like a walk or something and turn it into something very unique and, and standing out. But if you're not to that stage and you don't have those skills to do that, then you shouldn't be trying it because um, it's not gonna turn out that way anyway. So you, you'll just be wasting your time. So there's definitely a progression that you should be taking and having a realistic understanding of what kind of jobs that those assignments could get you. Imagine someone going into a gym and just thinking they're gonna lift uh, squat 500 pounds or something and they've never lifted before. They're gonna hurt themselves. <laughs> and so if you try to do those kind of very unique and probably longer shots than you should be working on, you're gonna hurt yourself in the sense that you're gonna feel, you know, burnout or, you know, uh, discouraged by the end of it because it was so difficult and it doesn't look good. There's a reason why you progress through the kind of beginner shots that you do. And at some, the point along the way that you're gonna be ready to apply for the job is the point at which your shots are unique and polished enough for a kind of junior skill level. And what that means is essentially that there's potential there, that the recruiter or the supervisor, who, whoever is reviewing your reel can see potential. They're not expecting you to be the best anywhere in the world as a junior, right? So um, there's a bit of a, a balance there, you know, and it goes back to my first point. It doesn't cost anything to apply. You're not gonna be the one determining whether or not you know, you should get the job, but if you don't apply, uh, they can't determine that for you. So it doesn't hurt to apply, but you just need to be realistic about your chances when you are starting out and you have those kind of beginner shots that aren't very unique compared to everyone else. Use those for what they're intended to do and focus on that. Don't get ahead of yourself and trying to be, do, be doing super unique shots that are above your skill level because that will just frustrate you and it'll slow your progression down. So thanks for watching this Animation Secrets. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you enjoyed this one, if you wanna see something else. And stay tuned for more because I will be doing a whole YouTube series on a Rococo motion capture suit that I just got. And so I have a lot in store for the channel for that and for me discovering how to use that suit. So hopefully I can share that experience with you. So stay tuned for that in another YouTube series. Hopefully I can keep this animation secrets going. Let me know if you have any ideas for the next few ones, but thanks for watching and I will see you next time.